Hey guys, for my German friends, check out the German version of the Zido. A while ago, a German student asked me if I can design him a hypercycloidal reduction drive for his medical exoskeleton used for after-stroke therapy. And I couldn't say no. So I'm gonna give you an update about this project soon. So here we are. We are designing a hypercycloidal reductor for a medical exoskeleton. In this first video, we are going to print out a demonstration model of this system in order to better understand it. Here on Tenuous I found a pretty well done model with all the instructions you need. So let's download it. So here we are in Cura. I imported all the pieces. I scaled them down to 50%. Uh, my print settings are 18% infill at a fast print 0.50mm layer height. I put a 4mm brim on all these pieces so that this tall pieces doesn't fall over and the large piece doesn't warp. For saving a little bit of print time, I put these tall pieces really near together so that the bridge is shorter. I don't know why this PC is red. I reimported it, I restarted QR, I restarted my PC, but it worked. So, I don't know. It printed really well in Ultimaker Silver Metallic PLA and it took me about 2 hours and 45 minutes and 25 grams of plastic. And now simply enjoy the little time lapse. So here we have all the pieces lined up on the table. Here you can see the little shaft and it has two holes in it. We need to align the off-center cams on these two holes. And the special thing is they must be 180 degree opposite. That makes the whole thing stable and less wobbly if we spin it fast. What's well, not the case with this model but will be with our final product. So it's a pain to make them stable and stay in position so I glued them in place with some super glue. I put simply a drop super glue in the hole. So now we can mount it with the disc. The disc has 13 teeth and the ring has 14 teeth. So it simply slides in place and uh, now if we turn the input shaft we gain speed, we gain RPM and we lose torque. But we want exactly the opposite so we are going to spin the disc in our final thing and the shaft here will be our output. So here I put two green dots on it so that you can better see it and as you see the inner disc spins faster than the ring. In reality the ring will be fixed but it was a pain for me to turn it right so that you can see it on the camera. So here you can see how I put on the input, the output disc in our case and in our final product we will give the input to this thing and that will give us the output on the other shaft. And now we are at the end of this video. In the next episode we are going to design our own hypercycloid reduction drive. So a big thanks to my new followers, make sure to like, share and subscribe, stay tuned for the next time, say me what I can make better in the comments and bye!